Song of the Birds, by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. With what a hollow dirge its voice did fill, the vast and empty hollow of the night. It had perched itself upon a tall old tree, that hung its tufted and thick clustering leaves. Midway across the brook, and sung most sweetly, in all the merry and heartbroken sadness, of those that love hath crazed. Clearly it ran, through all the delicate compass of its voice. And then again, as from a distant hollow, I heard its sweet tones like an echo sounding, and coming, like the memory of a friend, from a far distant country, or the silent land. Of the mourned and the dead, to which we all are passing, it seemed the song of some poor broken heart, haunted forever with love's cruel fancies. Of one that has loved much yet never known. The luxury of being loved again. But when the morning broke, and the green woods, were all alive with birds, with what a clear, and ravishing sweetness sung the plaintive thrush. I loved to hear its delicate rich voice, chanting through all the gloomy day, when loud, amid the tresses dropping the big rain, and grey mists wrap the hills, for I the sweeter. Its song is, when the day is sad and dark. And thus, when the bright fountains of a woman's love, are gently running over, if a cloud, but darken, with its melancholy shadow. The bright flowers round our way, her heart, doth learn new sweetness, and her rich voice falls, with more delicious music on our ears.